Today on the Platinum Patrol, we have another game from the Wrathfire Perfection. Playing as Protoss? Ah, against his opponent, Terramon. And we'll have to see how this goes. Perfection looks like he's getting a little confused about where to put his pylon. He figured it out. He didn't get confused. He was just expertly placing it right where he wanted. The Terran opponent named Terramon. That is, uh, interesting. I guess he really likes being Terran. He's making a supply depot. Then he'll make a barracks. Probably. If he doesn't make a barracks, it'd be funny. Okay, so we made a barracks. There we go. Now, down here, the perfection is getting a gateway and getting a refinery slash assimilator structure. Get some gas. Very peaceful so far. The workers are scouting around, looking like they're gonna miss each other. That's fine. Wait. This is, um. No, nothing's too weird here yet. Our Terran player is getting some gas. His barracks is finishing up. The probe's coming in. What will he see? He sees a barracks. He sees a refinery. He stops moving. Interesting. Will this worker be more responsive? It looks like he sees extra dudes on gas. Probably makes him pretty happy. His opponent's not very good. And then he moves around some more and hides in the corner. Oh no, he's my escape. We have escape. Look, this probe's moving now. He sees the timing on the orbital. And he's going to get out. If he was down here a little faster, he could have maybe blocked this a little bit. It's not a big deal. He's going to harass now. Two probes following this SCV. is not worth it for the perfection here. And he does manage to harass this SCV into delaying the command center. Very nice. He could send it back. This Reaper will prevent anything else from happening, though. It'll take care of this pretty quickly. And then it'll come across the map and see what Perfection is doing. Does he have an Adept or a Stalker yet? He does not. So this uh, Reaper could actually do a lot of damage. Especially because we don't... Well, he just starts Warp Gate and a Stalker. Is he going to Chrono the Stalker? Okay, so he'll be fine. Nexus is on the way. And let's see how our Terran responds to seeing what's going on here. It's harassing some probes. It's always good to get into your opponent's mindset. We got a probe. Did we get another one? Oh, finish it. Finish it. No, he was too afraid. I think it's worth it if you just kill that probe. Also, I don't think you die doing it. Well, he escaped anyway. So that's something. Got a probe. Nice. He's got a bunker. Got a command center. Marines to the bunker. Got a factory. He's ramping up his production with these mules. Getting starport. All right then. Loads his marines into the bunker. It looks like a zealot's coming out now from perfection. Okay. We'll see what he's gonna go for right now. He's pretty close on workers. Up by two. Pretty three. Pretty expected. Terran has a mule. Basically counters. We have two meals that counters out those extra workers. Similar economies. The Perfection still chrono boosting out some workers, looks like. Yep, getting more workers. We'll see what he gets from the Twilight. He, since he made that Zealot, I think it might be Charge. Yeah, there it is, it's Charge. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't start making Zealots after your first Stalker. So does this mean some... Oh, Dark Shine. We've got the Nightmare build, probably. Oh, does he see it? Does he see it? Oh, he sees it. So the Terran, the Terran saw this. Did he click on it? Yeah, he knows what it is. So the Terran knows what this is. How does he respond? Is he going to get like turrets or a raven? He's got a bunch of marines. The front bunker. Looks like he's not building too many SCVs. As in, he's building none. Okay, he started an SCV now. Alright, the reason this guy's behind on workers isn't because Protoss is OP. It's because he doesn't build SCVs all the time, and he hasn't figured that out yet. He's getting a engineering bay, so he might get some turrets for detection. His economy is so far behind, though, for no reason. It's not that far behind, but it's behind. This is a 3 Widow Mine drop, I'm guessing. Yep, 3 Widow Mine drop, and this stalker is harassing the bunker. This guy scans his own bunker when he sees a stalker hitting it. That's just stupid. 
anyway. Maybe you might not even have enough energy now to scan the main when this drop comes in. And he's getting a raven, so that's nice for him at least. The gateways are coming up for the perfection in the meantime though. Where are they down is natural, along with robotics. Makes sense. And two Dark Temple are going across the map the same time this drop will probably come in. If he remembers this drop. Let's see his reaction. So he hears the SUVs under attack, he sees there's Dark Templars in his base. The turret just barely didn't finish. He has a Raven and Marines, he could deal with this. Looks like he's gonna send his drop in now. Get the Widow Mines going. They're gonna burrow. Flies out. And if we go take a look at how many kills they get. Three. Three. So we got six kills, not bad. And he cleaned up the Dark Templars. Did he lose any SCDs? Like five, right? Seven STDs and eight probes have gone down. Two of those for the Reaper. Not the Widow Mine. So seven STDs is pretty pretty good attack, the Dark Temple, especially considering how early he scouted it and saw it coming. But if you see this coming, the Dark Temple are blink on the way. Who knows? Getting an observer. Probably good help with the mines. Are these gonna go off again? It'd be pretty funny if they did. He has an armory, right? So these are hidden. Yeah. Well, we'll see if the observer the observer will get there before they're ready. <laughs> he just effed the flat or the um fraction just F2 would everything over here. To make sure this is uh gonna die. But they might just go off. Oh no. No, not like this. Okay. That's embarrassing. Uh we'll just pretend we didn't see that. Just make fun of him in the comments. In the meantime, our Terran is still not really making SCVs very well. Like, he's making SCVs, but they're not spread well. There's like seven extra ones here, which could be here. He lost... I guess he killed 14 more workers than his opponent, but they're on the same amount. From the same basis. Even though there's Chrono Boost, that's mostly because he's not continuously building SCVs. Like now, he's not building any SCVs now. But he doesn't realize that because he's a diamond player. Here comes the big attack. We're going to have the blink in, I'm sure, at some point. So this guy pulls back. He's got all of his marines and marauders. There's so many zealots here. And the zealots couple of look behind. He can't stutter step. And look at that. They're all getting taken out. Full surround. Everything dies. The raven can't figure out how to drop an auto turret. And I think he's dead. The platform or the perfection executed this extremely well. His opponent is now lifting his building. Looks like he's going to try and get his structures to do something, but they uh, won't because he can't do anything about this. He lost all his units, his wall's dying, and I think he's just shocked. Is that what's going on? Yeah, let's watch his shock. He's desperately trying to build like a marine, but that's not going to do anything. He's just watching his base die in agony. Yeah, this isn't going so well, buddy. Are these going to let all the structures die? We don't know. But this game is basically over. And there it is. Perfection takes another game.